let's have a look at problem 4b, which is a related question. It states that after three years, yields on identical types of securities have risen to 8.75% per annum. So because it's after three years, the existing debenture has exactly seven years to maturity, and we need to calculate what the price of those existing debentures would be uh, in the secondary market. So in terms of drawing a diagram now, if this is today, there is only seven years left for the debenture. And because interest is paid twice a year, that means there are only 14 interest payments of C left, as well <coughs> as the uh, maturity value of S. So remember that the price of the bond will be the present value of the interest payments plus the present value of the face value. Now, this represents taking the present value of those payments and this represents taking the present value of the face value. Now, C we calculated before in part A, and remember the coupon payment doesn't change. 0 0.077 over 2. And that gave us, uh, multiplied by the face value of 100 million, and that gave us 3.85 million. Next, we've got the number of payments, which was 14. As there's seven years to go, and there are two payments per year. And I, which is the yield, is 0 0.0875 divided by two to match the frequency of coupon payments. Now, the price of that bond will be 3.85 million over 0 0.0875 divided by 2 outside of 1 minus 1 over 1 plus 0 0.0875 over 2 to the power of 14 plus 100 million outside of 1 plus 0 0.0875 over 2 to the power of minus 14. And if we put that into our calculator, we get $54,909,711.40 plus $39,671,000. Point nine seven, so that equals nine four, so ninety four million five hundred eighty nine thousand one sixty five thirty seven. So therefore, in problem four B, the price of the bond will be ninety four million five hundred eighty nine thousand one hundred sixty five dollars and thirty seven cents.